I'm just curious what your ideal solution is with respect to tax expenditures. What, if, if you had the reins, what would you yeah. do? Yeah. So we have about, tax expenditure is like sort of, it's a tax break. It's called a tax expenditure because a lot of them look a lot like spending. So for example, the difference between Pell Grants and the American Opportunity Tax Credit is that the Department of Education administers the Pell Grants, right? Otherwise, and you actually need the FAFSA form. So the difference is there's some accountability. But otherwise, it's kind of the same. So like, there's at minimum a gray line between what's a spending program and what's a tax break. Um, tax expenditures sort of take a generous view about what's, um, what's a diversion from the tax code. And under that view, we lose one and a half to two trillion dollars a year from these tax breaks. Some of them are really valuable. You know, they help keep people out of poverty and support work and um, help move us to, towards um, a lower emissions um, energy production. So some of them are really valuable. A lot of them, probably most of them, are really poor tar poorly targeted for their role, their goal. And they go really disproportionately to the rich other than the credits, um, in part because the higher your rate, the more benefit you get. Like, if I deduct a dollar, my rate is 10%, I only get 10 cents back. But if my rate is 37%, I get 37 cents back. So like, they're regressive, they mostly go to the rich, but they also distort behavior. The mortgage deduction causes people to buy bigger homes and borrow more for them, that doesn't make sense. The healthcare exclusion, we have very strong evidence, drives up healthcare prices, which are already you know, 50% higher than the next highest country. Uh, all sorts of business tax breaks cause businesses to incorporate in certain kinds of ways or make certain kind of investments that aren't good for their profit, they're good for their after-tax profit. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so we need a comprehensive tax reform. We tried that in 2017. Like, the original vision they worked off of in 2017 was a plan called The Better Way, and it got rid of a lot of tax expenditures. It's just as they got through the sausage-making process, it turned out it was really politically hard. Um, one of the, I think, the best things that came out of 2017 is it barely touched the mortgage deduction. But because it raised the standard deduction so much and it reduced the state and local deduction so much, it actually sort of secretly got rid of the mortgage deduction for most people. That was a huge benefit that people don't even realize. So you asked me my ideal. I'm now political strategizing, which is the opposite. Like, is there secret ways we can get rid of tax expenditures? But my non-secret way would be we ought to have a lot less of them. I mean, we ought to try to tax income equally across types of income. Um, you know, the tax code should have limited places where it's trying to incentivize behavior, and when it is, we need to look at it the same way we'd look at a spending program and actually evaluate, like, is this well targeted? But in general, we should have a broad base and low rates, and I'm, I'm willing to, which is, I'm different from some tax economists. I'm willing to have a tax code that sort of on paper looks like it's actually more distorting to the economy um, because, say, rates on returns to investments are higher. If an exchange, it's less distorting across decisions um, because I think that our macroeconomic models aren't good at picking up the cost of getting people to make bad decisions, which is a lot of what our tax code does.